um, I suppose you could say, like, lots of women have self-esteem problems, and I've had, like, a bit of a self-esteem problem for a long time, where I have, as I often say, I always think I look better than I actually do. And in, in saying that, it's always a bit of a shock when you when you find out who you are really are and what you look like. Because it's not like you ever look in a mirror. Like, I don't, when I look in a mirror, it just affirms that I'm you know, re really a very nice-looking woman. Um, and I know that. I don't feel inadequate. I don't need people to tell me. I know inside myself I'm quite a nice-looking girl. Um... And when I look in a mirror, for instance, I know um, I'm going to like what I see. I never just look in a mirror, by the way. You don't just look in a mirror like, eh, like that, like, because eh, you look ugly. Uh, when you look in a mirror, if you watch women look in a the mirror, they prepare themselves to look. They don't just look. They sort of suddenly go, you go, there's the mirror. You see women, they're putting makeup on. So you sort of do this wide-eyed thing so you don't get that squinty thing. And you sort of put your chin out like that so you don't get this kind of like, oh, that sort of thing. I would never look, I would never actually want to see myself like that because I know it would be very unattractive. And I don't want to see myself how other people see me because um, it's not like I see me, which is like this. Putting my makeup on, being, you know, really quite lovely. Um, I did read this though, I know a while ago I talked about, you know, sort of the whole thing about photographs, but this is precious. This is actually in the Weight Watchers magazine because a lot of fat women don't look good in photos. Uh, we look a bit fat and here's some advice that says how to look great in photos, right? I have to put my glasses on to share this. This is piss funny. <sighs> this is part of the thing. It says don't get caught with your chins tucked in. I was telling you, it gives you, you know, like that, like sort of extra chins. Um, but don't have your nostrils photographed. So when you go like that, don't, you know, like you don't want to get your photo because <gasps> it goes, particularly me, I've got big hairy nostrils, so you don't want those. Um, now, what you've got to do is you've got to imagine you're popping your head over a fence like this. See, like that, as you do. Um, keep your head high and lean your, you've got to lean your face forward a little bit um, and push your tongue against the top of your chin, like that. And if you've got a fence outside, like if you could actually practice, I mean, in your, in your real house and your neighbor's fence, just try looking over the fence in real life, you know. Sorry, I'm not looking at you, I'm just practicing. It's hard out here because I live in a suburb with no fences. I have to actually go into town and, and look over other people's fences to practice the look. If you see my head coming over your fence, I'm not looking at you. I'm just practicing looking good in photos. Um, now you have to keep your arms a few centimeters, not like this. See how boxy I am? Now you've got a few centimeters like that, right? It's slightly bent, a bit like you know, action figure like that. That apparently is more attractive. And if you're getting photographed with other people, turn side on and hold on to them because it makes you look slimmer. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if people are aware. There's some really good advice. Now. I don't know, I've often fancied I look like people, like I look like, um, I don't know, I always thought I looked quite glamorous and I thought, you know, I could be a little bit Kate Winslet. No one's ever said that, but I think that inside myself, maybe, you know, other beautiful women. I've been told, you know, when I was 19, I was told once by this guy who was like, I don't know, he was this big man off a prawn troll and my friend and I, and he came up to my girlfriend and I, and he said to her, you look like the lead singer of Blondie, who was very attractive, you know, at the time, but not now and he said to me and I was waiting for my compliment because I was 19 he said you look a bit like Phyllis Diller and I was like I'm 19 years old I was just heartbroken told me I look like an old woman and I'm like I said buddy you're lucky that beauty is only skin deep because otherwise I would be rotten to the core then I realized that was a Phyllis Diller line and I thought well probably is right but I've actually, actually fancy you know, do fancy I have been told things like you know Lisa Kudrow look a bit like Barbara Streisand um, you know, maybe even a bit like, um, oh, I can't remember a few of the other ones, a little bit like Matt Damon. Anyone with sort of, you know, a manly nose um, tends to be the woman that I'm actually mistaken for. And it wasn't until the other day, um, I was in a video shop, and I, I heard these teenagers sort of yell out, oh my God, it's the dude from White Chicks. And I went, I love that film, I have a look around. And I'm expecting to see one of the Wyan brothers who made the film in the video store. I'm going, wow, here we are in Mullumbimby, Wyan brothers. No, no. I go over to the video section, pick up the cover, I look at the picture, right? I look at me. It's me. They're talking about me. I'm the dude. Look at this. There. They're saying I look like that. There. There. That I look like that. That's... I don't know if you know the story of White Chicks. If you don't know this, it's a sort of, it's a sort of comedy film where these, these two, you know, sort of black men, FBI agents, they go undercover as white chicks. It's kind of like black, face, like sort of black men doing white face drag. Really, and that's what I look like, apparently. 
And then I told a friend, I was really upset. I thought, how insulting. And I get, I tell this friend of mine and she, instead of comforting me, she goes, oh my God, yes, 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 you really do. You really do look like that. It's amazing. You really do. Anyway, so I, I feel I can't go to the video shop anymore because I'm really kind of self-conscious now. But I should get over that, I suppose, and start giving autographs. But <laughs> I do have a little fantasy though. Um, and that's somewhere in LA, there's two black men, these two guys here, the Wine Brothers. They're in a video shop somewhere and someone from Molumbimbi happens to be there and they go up and they go, oh my God, you look like Mandy Nolan. <coughs> Don't think it's gonna happen. They're not that bad. I can sort of see the likeness there, look at that. <sighs> that one particularly is very me. I wonder if I got made up as a man whether I'd look as handsome and spunky as those guys. That'd be a sexual fantasy, wouldn't it? Hunking up like that. Oh, God, I could love myself up in that. <sighs> Never mind. Back to the hairy nostrils and the double chin. There. <laughs>